I'm Scott Broom on the U.S. Naval Hospital Ship Comfort, now in Port of Prince Harbor. We're arriving here just in time this morning to be shaken by those aftershocks. It actually sent a bizarre sort of vibration through the hull of the ship. A bizarre welcome, to say the least. It's good to finally be here, you know, and so now some of that weight is over. Within an hour of arrival, small boats apparently filled with refugees headed towards the gleaming white ship. The refugees were turned away by Navy patrol boats. It's tragic triage in a suffering nation. The Comfort has 1,000 beds reserved for only the most critically injured people. And those people are coming by a constant rotation of medevac helicopters. These are the survivors, people who've managed to not only make it through the earthquake, but to endure the desperate wait for the comfort, either in makeshift field hospitals on shore or in the sick bays of other Navy ships. One man with barely treated critical burns from a gas station collapse stunned doctors by actually smiling and talking. Yeah, he's got burns over 30% uh, of his body. All of the folks that we're seeing here have, uh, have survived the, la the last week. Um, uh, some with more medical care, some with less. He did not come from one of our military sister ships. He came from the shore, so he was being cared for on the ground at some type of facility. Don't know where he's come from. And we're going to see that more and more today. They're going to be coming in from different areas with different levels of, of care before they arrive. Many of these doctors, nurses, techs, and staff are from the D.C. area, breaking out stuffed animals donated by kids at home. The Comfort dropped anchor here a day ahead of schedule. And the first pair of critical patients came Tuesday night while the ship was still underway. They included this six-year-old boy with a crushed pelvis. Doctors prayed before he got here and struggled with emotions. You worry about a kid. I mean, it's a kid on the way. I mean, I got a nine-year-old at home. Today, that six-year-old boy continues to recover here on the ship in the pediatric intensive care unit. With one half of Haiti's population under 18, this ship arrives here today with more pediatricians than any other kind of doctor. There are 1,000 beds on the ship. Right now, they're filling up fast. On the Comfort, Scott Broom, 9 News Now and WUSA9.com.